we're fighting a battle. We're doing a race where you've got to be the quickest and you've got to be the best. From our background in Formula One, we're used to competitive engineering. And I have no problem using our engineering ability to support Ukraine because it's the right thing to do. Sky Shark as a product will be going to Ukraine in the next six weeks. Uh, we've got Ukrainian partners looking at production. So this is a kamikaze drone, 10 to 20 kilos payload, 250 kilometers range, 400. 50 kilometers an hour. It's traveling at the end of its range. It's traveling towards a selected target. It has target acquisition guidance on it. Find the target, do a dive maneuver to impact the target, and the payload uh, goes off. So that's its main, main role. There's a real requirement now in Ukraine and wider for European NATO in the UK for long range strike, heavy uh, payload capability. So we moved up and introduced the Tiger Shark. That's about two months away from uh, test flying. The real thing that Ukraine is showing everyone at the moment, that that has to be delivered at cost. They can't be two million pounds of missile. So cost for Tiger Shark, sub 400K. Sky Shark, sub 50K. So it's delivering performance at cost. We effectively come from a motorsport background and we design niche high performance vehicles and of course these are very niche very high performance vehicles so i worked for 27 years in formula one i started off in 1989 as head of uh, aerodynamics at mclaren i went through various teams working with drivers like fernando alonso i set up the lotus racing team in 2010 um, but then after 27 years something like 350 grand prix uh, it's a lot of travelling, it's a lot of hotels, and uh, I needed a change. Doing more and more aerospace stuff, so electric, vertical takeoff aircraft, um, all of which need really lightweight composite vehicles, which is our speciality. Over the last three years, that's really morphed into the defence requirement because of Ukraine. So I never thought, you know, when I set MGA up or I was in motorsport, that I'd be working in the defence sector designing one-way effectors. But you know, with the situation in the world and if we want to protect our way of life, um, we, need, we need these systems. You know, some companies may not want to do defence work and that's perfectly understandable. But also for me, um, you know, I, I, I believe that there's been on the side of what's right and supporting the government in, and its support for Ukraine, which is very clear. And I have no problem using our engineering um, ability to, to support Ukraine because it, it's the right thing to do. There are different problems to solve, but for me, they're just a set of engineering requirements. Payload capability, um, navigation, especially in um, you know, GNSS denied environments. They want effectiveness, so they want vehicles that, that get that do what they're meant to do so hit the target and they want them in volume at cost and that's always a, a competitive thing to do but from our background in Formula One we're used to competitive engineering you know that's what we do every two weeks around the world in Formula One we're fighting a battle we're doing a race where you've got to be the quickest and you've got to be the best Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.